Hello and welcome to the Youth Vibes right here on CRTV. My name is Dazo, the Navi aka the Big D. And well, right here on this episode, I got one hip hop legendary. Yeah, he's a complete legend. Yeah, not half, not a quarter, but he's actually a complete legend. Johnson Mike is right here in the building of CRTV today. And well, we're going to be talking about his journey, how he started music and all that. But for now, I will allow him to actually introduce himself. Welcome to the show, man. Thanks so much. Welcome. Tell, yeah. tell, tell our viewers uh, who Johnson Mike is. Okay. Um, first name, business and money is my second name. I'm trying to live life. I don't care about the fame. Every step a minute, you should know it's for the chain. All it do me, we can never be the same. Yo, levels of change and I'm trying to switch it up. But when it's money, I can never give it up. Yeah. Day in, day out, I just do this for the rap. Day in, day out, I just do this for the rap. Yo. Oh my God. This is Johnson Mike, M-I-C. Yeah. You know what it is. There's something about rappers, man. Yeah. They don't introduce themselves talking. They, they just rap. Well, better that way, I guess. <laughs> so that's what you guys do. <laughs> How they gonna know? Got you, man. Right. <laughs> All right. Now talking about, um, you know, tell me when you started your music. How your journey has been like, and uh, you know, how you feel like right now, just Johnson Mike in the game. Um, talking about now and then. First of all, um, talent is God given. Mm -hmm. But uh, there are moments where you like, you feel like you are at your highest. Mm -hmm. There are moments where you feel like you're very inspired. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I feel like music has been a part of me ever since I was young, mm. but by then I did not clearly know what I was doing. But uh, officially by around 2012, mm. I was in the recording booth and that was a whole different experience. Mm. And um, how I feel right now is uh, I feel very contented mm. and I feel like, um, not just like I feel, I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I understand the game and what to do exactly. Mm. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, talking about, uh, you know, you, you do hip hop. And in the country, mm. uh, I've had a lot of people saying hip hop is, you know, it's not making it in the country. Like, hip hop is not, you know, doing well in the country. I would love that. Why, why, why hip hop? What's up? Um, South Sudan is a diverse country. Mm. Uh, when we talk about diversity, we have people coming in from all different corners of the world. Mm. People coming from Sudan, people mm. coming from East Africa, Uganda, mm. people that have been here. People coming in from the villages and then there is a lot of diffusion. Mm. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. So uh, hip hop, hip hop is a musical genre that is like a number one genre in the mm. whole world. Mm -hmm. uh, known for a lot of celebrity feuds. The influence here is actually very negative. Mm -hmm. I'm disappointed because people don't understand what it is. Mm -hmm. And then um, they term us as niggas, what, mm -hmm. what, what, mm -hmm. gangsters. Mm -hmm. But actually this is, uh, people don't understand it here, but it's a beautiful one. Okay. We pass messages, we talked about social issues, mm -hmm. we talk about things that are breaking down the society. Mm -hmm. We are bold enough even to talk about the leadership and the political system, mm. just like reggae. Sure. Yeah. Have a, uh, through your journey, have you ever thought of, you know, uh, saying to yourself, like, man, hip hop is not making it. I'm not getting money like other artists. I'm not, you know, doing a lot of concerts like, you know, how other artists are doing. Have you ever thought of maybe joining a different genre? Apart from hip hop, I've always told people that uh, first of all, I'm a rapper by choice. Okay. But uh, completely, um, I'm a musician. What it means to be a musician is mm. I play instruments, mm -hmm. I do vocals, and I produce music. Wow. So by choice, I'm a rapper. But okay. don't be surprised to see me singing anything, <laughs> anytime. Not for money, but just because I'm passionate mm -hmm. and I know I can do it. Mm. You, you've done that you've done that there's uh, one of your songs uh, Butterfly oh, you yeah. sang bro <laughs> <laughs> you did <laughs> yeah that was like um, I was uh, I was carrying my 
two month old baby or mm. you know there was this melody ringing in my head and I like I think um, this is something that you have to like register a mm. melody that you have to lay down that you remember like mm. this is a specific moment yeah and um, I've done a lot of that and mm-hmm. I'll still do a lot of that mm-hmm. so um, when I looked at hip hop in South Sudan here I thought of a strategy of how to like promote it mm-hmm. so I, like instead of doing rap which people don't understand mm-hmm. um, how about I strike Okay. Let me try to like drop a vibe that that defeats every vibe around here. Mm. And that is going to give me like an upper hand mm. to um to bring up hip hop and I did. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I defeated dance all artists, mm. uh, afro artists, yeah, man. singers and then brought hip hop to the spot. Yeah, like. man. Talking about uh, uh I mean that song okay, you told it it was a dedication to somebody. Like you said, to it your baby. Mm-hmm. It was a moment. It was a moment. It was a moment. Like I wanted you to just like, felt like, like let me it. just do this. You know how you carry your baby <laughs> and you want to like sing for them. <laughs> so that song just that song just, you know just you knocked your head and ah. you just felt like hey so, man, this is the best song yeah, for my so baby. Let me do this. Yeah man. Let me let me lay it down. Mm. Yeah. Do you, have you worked on uh, the video of uh, that song, Butterfly? Mm-hmm. Actually, it got leaked because. Uh, I critically looked at the script. Mm. It needed some finances. Mm. And uh, okay. by then I went for visitation to a different country. So mm. it needed some some, some level some of preparation. Yeah, yeah. So uh in the process of trying to like facilitate that, mm. the producer could not hold it. He loved the vibe. Mm. So so we just they released <laughs> it. I was surprised when they said uh your song is on the top chart. Mm. I'm like which song? They said Butterfly. I was like but I've not released it. Mm. I'm like ah. Oh. Okay. Mm. Okay. Let me just leave it for now. Mhm. Uh talking about I remember uh there was this group, let me call it a crew, uh known as the Hip Hop Clinic. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, of course I do. You know, I I love the chemistry when I when I used to listen to, you know, some of the cypers, some of the, you know, mm-hmm. the raps that you guys through and you know a lot mm. i loved i loved it what happened to the hip hop clinic um the hip hop clinic mm. uh, the hip hop clinic is uh, uh we first of all let's get back to the ob- the objective of the hip hop clinic mm. what was hip hop clinic mm. who was behind the hip hop clinic mm. hip hop clinic was my idea I'm the founder of the hip hop clinic mm-hmm. You know, um, it found me at a moment where I was not working and it was Corona time. Mm-hmm. So, uh, like, what is it that, like, what is my old self going to do? Perhaps when I want to t- retire and all that. Mm. Like, um, at the point of retirement, you would want to give back to the community. So yeah. that we could look at people like Olamide, Nigeria, mm-hmm. and all yeah. that. Like, so, uh, South Sudan, artists don't have access to recording studio videos mm-hmm. to branding and things like that so i was like okay this proposal is genius but uh it's going to need some finances mm-hmm. it will need facilities and things like that so um uh, i teamed up with my brother from asylum record mm-hmm. majok majok thing mm-hmm. so uh, we worked things out mm-hmm. the little he had mm-hmm. the access and the connections that i had mm-hmm. uh we started to the audition we had a meeting first mm-hmm. talked about the objective which is to have like a healthy competition as a group mm-hmm. which has never happened before sure and um first time we having about we had about 15 rappers in the same room mm-hmm. with the aim of you know bringing up the genre of the hip hop in mm-hmm. Sudan mm-hmm. notable names there were people that went were in the industry already sure. talk of Lushike mm-hmm. talk of Jayang mm-hmm. um a few names myself yeah. I was in the industry already so um mm. the, uh, so I started thinking what is going to be the strategy of like putting all these team together mm-hmm. first of all you have to be on the spotlight mm-hmm. we'll pick you from where you are and take you to somewhere mm-hmm. uh, on the platform of Kilikilana there was Lemonem I reached out to him mm-hmm. I made a few calls to some radio stations and so hip hop clinic mm-hmm. was not a crew 
Okay. It was not a group. It was a project. Okay. It was a continuous project. Mm -hmm. We can still have another hip hop clinic with different faces. Okay. Yeah. But you included. I'm the big man behind <laughs> it. <laughs> so you must be there. <laughs> I will not be like sometimes on the spotlight. Oh. And I'll be pulling strings somewhere. But honestly, trust me, I loved I loved the idea because it was really bringing up or it was actually waking up yeah. the hip hop in the country. It did actually. Yeah. It did. And, um, I'm proud of, um, let me not, uh, I'm proud of two people. Mm. First of all, I'll say Lord G, mm -hmm. who suffers from nowhere mm -hmm. through uh, the hip hop clinic. Mm -hmm. And a um, young boy who was already trying to, mm, like, make trying to come up. Mm -hmm. and then you can pass anywhere. I know in Dubai without you know, hearing one of the mm -hmm. songs too. Mm -hmm. Talking about uh, one of the songs, uh, Fisher uh, J Young and Lord G. Um, talk to us about the song. Um, the song is uh, Economy Tablet, mm -hmm. where we talk about the worsening economic crisis in the country and uh, how people are paying a price for it. Mm -hmm. So um, we teamed up to like create an awareness, um, mm -hmm. and it was really awesome. Like we delivered. Mm -hmm. And um, across the country, people appreciate the song. So mm -hmm. it's a beautiful tune. It has uh, meaningful lyrics that are very touching. Mm -hmm. So that's one of our production from the hip hop clinic. Wow. Uh, it's, it's one great song, by the way. And if you haven't checked it out, you need to do that. Yeah, it's Johnson Mike and, of course, Jay Young talking about Lord G. I must say the giants are in that song. Economy tablet is coming on your screen. Pay the lowest possible price for labor. The freedom that results applies only to them. The many simply have to work harder on conditions that only grow more and more insecure. To reach in only the few. Now what's the doctors from the clinic? We came up here with LRS. Lord G. Johnson Mike and the great Lord J. Young. A solemn record shout out. Tell me what it is, economy tabele madisis Madis Joe big again, who you be madisis Ile hassle in the hita, beg in shume isha We gon' play, we gon' play Tell me what it is, economy tabele madisis Madis Joe big again, who you be madisis Ile hassle in the hita, beg in shume isha We gon' play, we gon' play I know the truth hurts really, but tell me do you feel me Economy tabele best be drop back on a minute Zekir Zaman, one pound, can't have my salad As a few Jew, I'm a give you salad, can look bad Dollar pen, knock, no two folk, talk to you a word As my day, my haggy, gajena, de oh my girl, tan My low one in a sibo, bahar, de le habashi Tirilla, moye, juwa, hila, kulu, habashi Bar, kulu, habashi, hotel, kulu, habashi Nas, begin, ni, rendi, galo, ma, fi, chocolate, li, sis Who won't be set up, send a jab, it all a rich They will go back to the country, hustle in a way a week Hoping that I could dance to the great news in the city But Moses Yassin told me that I was the landed And God had gifted me with the knowledge He believed in me knowing that I was a rapper Who knows how to get his facts straight Jere Jere Kulu Mayum Seems like politics is the Junobi state of mind All hands are needed Contribution to the nation All heart they needed We would never bleed If we just believe Am I seeing this shit? Mm -hmm. Tell me what it is Economy Tabele Madisis Madis Joe Big again Once upon a time, jobs and plenty in 
Welcome back from that musical break. It's an amazing jam. You're still watching CRTV right here. My name is Dazzo. The Navi aka the Big D. And well, I have uh, Johnson Mike right here in the building. And well, talking about, uh, you know, uh, you've been, you've been uh, in the game for a very long time. And the young people or the young rappers were actually coming up. Of course, I would want to know, what have you prepared for these young people? Um, something very interesting. Mm -hmm. And um, you know what, uh, to have an experience mm -hmm. without doing proper research mm -hmm. is non-essential. True. Uh, actually, I'm disappointed and shocked to the whole South Sudan hip hop mm -hmm. industry. Mm -hmm. Leave alone the hip hop and all that. But um, just the other day, I was going through social media and then mm -hmm. I came across this post from uh, Vinker. Mm -hmm. And um, she's into Grammy. Okay. Like, she might be considered for nomination, something like that. Then I was like, uh, I think the music industry of South Sudan is missing out something. Mm -hmm. What exactly is Grammy? Mm -hmm. So I went and I did my research and uh, uh, shockingly you can actually pay about $185 to be considered in about three categories. Mm -hmm. So um, Grammy nomination is not a big deal. Sure. BT award is not a big deal. Mm -hmm. um, because unlike South Sudan where people vote online, mm -hmm. things like that, it's actually the producers and the bloggers and the people in the industry mm -hmm. that suggest, okay, this person might be eligible for nomination mm -hmm. and things like that. So um, hip hop in South Sudan has a lot, has a long way to go. Mm -hmm. Why I say that is because um, people would want to consider language mm. over messages. Sure. Yeah, if I have like a lot of rondok slangs and all that, mm. does that really make me a rapper? It doesn't make me a rapper. Mm -hmm. It just makes me somebody that is informed mm -hmm. in just a particular zone. Mm. But as a rapper, there is more to that. Rap is a culture. Mm -hmm. Okay. We had feuds like between King Juba and uh, whatever, mm -hmm. young boy. Mm -hmm. We finished that on stage as rappers. <laughs> so that's part of the culture, because show us who you are. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been talking to them, I'm like, you know what? This is how things are done. Mm -hmm. So I'm still uh, giving them credible information about the culture and all that. Collaborating with legends like LUL. Mm. Yeah, well, African legend. Yeah, well. mm -hmm. So I hold respect mm -hmm. and I would tell them that's how things work out. True. Respect the hierarchy, you will grow, your ways mm -hmm. will be open. Yeah. Oh, this, um, you know, <clears throat> somebody would want to know uh, mm. people say Johnson Mike has been off for a while. What's up with you, man? What's um, going on? I've been off here yeah, for a while. It doesn't mean that off, off. I don't know what mm. they mean by off. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah <laughs> but I'll also push that question back and ask what do they really mean by off? Mm. Because um, to really be off, that means 10 years you're not doing anything. You're not posting, mm. you nowhere to be seen. But um, of recent, I was at Kilo Kilo Anna, you know, mm. There was a, a competition going on. It involved rap. And singing and all that so mm. like I like I did my seat in front so I mean the mm -hmm. I want my seat in front mm -hmm. I'm the father of hip hop yeah and if there's anything happening in the country that involves hip hop mm. I'm there my, my seat, my, has, my to seat has to be in even mm. if I say nothing so yeah. I'm very much active and alive mm. I've been producing music like I had to go back learn and um not to be a professional music producer like in a studio, but mm. at least no, to create some progression where like mm. a producer can pick up from. So very okay. much active. Well, what's your new uh, project, man? What, what's up? What's, what's going on? What's uh, the plan for these people? Uh, there is 24 powers coming up. 24, 24 powers. powers? It sounds heavy. <laughs> 
24 24 hours what are you talking about man in a day we have 24 hours so each hour is your power how do you use it a genius it's genius trust me so somebody uh, will not know what you're talking about in the state of saying 24 hours and mm -hmm. say 24 powers it's everywhere hour you have is your, is power. your power yeah sure so um i'm intending to have um at least uh, 24 tracks in that in that it will like involve every aspect Bro. of life um, that's going to be like some stuffs will be inspirational mm -hmm. motivational some stuffs will talk about life mm -hmm. love breakup heartbreaks whatever it is and that's going to be a lot of work and i'm up for it <laughs> <laughs> 24 good songs. How many songs have you wrote already? How many songs do you have for the 24 powers? 24 powers. Yesterday mm -hmm. I recorded the first. Okay. Yeah. Because this time I'm not just looking at music, composition and all that. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the vibe. Because the, um, the musical world has changed. Mm -hmm. People no longer go for just beats and the lyrics, but they go for the vibe. That's the thing, yeah. So, so one out of 24. Mm -hmm. Just one. Maybe in one minute <laughs> I could do five songs. Okay, okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for always watching CRTV. And for now, I want to ask uh, Jensen Mike to say his last word. What's your last word, man? Actually, while you're alive, there's no last word. So, uh, best wishes to everybody that follows mm -hmm. uh, the Citizen Review TV and all that. The youth out there, mm -hmm. we still have a lot to do. And, um, of course, I love the hip hop. Yeah, man. Thank you so much. It's a bye bye from us. Bye.